I believe that almost every single problem that we're facing today has come about because we haven't been a stickler for the rule of law. We haven't followed the Constitution, and that's what we ought to be doing. And the fact that uh, the problems have been created by the lack of respect for the Constitution, the answers can be found there. They can be found there in foreign policy, on economic policy, property rights, personal liberties, all these things, monetary policy. Can you imagine how great a nation we'd have if we didn't have the Federal Reserve System printing all this money? It goes without saying that when we have the proper size government and governments function in the proper manner, we certainly wouldn't need the IRS or the 16th Amendment. but it should be minimal. The sole purpose of political activity, as far as I'm concerned, should be protection of individual liberty. I think what's happened in this country is we've lost respect for the rule of law, but we've lost respect and confidence in how liberty works. We're always frightened that if the government doesn't, if the government doesn't provide the safety net, there's going to be more poverty, no housing, and all the things that happened uh, over, over the last uh, several decades. But this is, uh, this is not necessary. It is so unnecessary. Freedom works. We have lost that confidence where we know and understand that it will work. But there is one admonition that John Adams gave. And he said, for freedom really to work, you have to have a moral society. And so we, we, can come down, we can come down very hard on our government, and I do, all three branches of the government. But quite frankly, even our can candidacy here, if we're successful, it still requires an endorsement from the people. And that's where I had been reluctant. I did not know where the numbers would be. I did not know whether the money would be there. I did not understand the internet, but I have been educated in the last few weeks. <laughs> And we do know that truth wins out in the end, but I didn't know that there were so many so ready to receive the truth about what's going on in this country. But it, but it truly gives me hope, and uh, that's what we need. We have lived and been blessed to live in a country that has been really great. We are fortunate that we had the founders that we did that understood what personal liberty was all about. They, they even understood what habeas corpus meant. And unfortunately, unfortunately, we moved into this era where they're endorsing torture and getting rid of habeas corpus, warrantless searches, national ID cards. And I think the American people are catching on. You know, the national ID card uh, was voted on overwhelmingly, but now do you know, I'll bet you do, that a lot of states are now condemning it, won't participate. They're waking up. People are waking up. You know, I don't know how this will end. That is the truth. I could come up here and say, I absolutely know how it's going to turn out. I don't know, and you don't know, but I do know that the message is good. The message of liberty is good. We've lived in a great country. We need to fall back on the traditions of our Constitution and the traditions of America. And we will do well. But right. uh, I am quite confident now that the numbers are a lot larger than I ever believed. I think we're moving in the right direction. Though very, very reluctant at the beginning, and you know, in some ways, I think that uh, not being overly eager to be the president 
is not necessarily bad because I think too often they're overly eager and they shouldn't be there. But uh, all I can tell you is that uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's moving faster and more furiously than I ever dreamed. I do promise that I will continue to deliver the message. I will continue to be as consistent as possible, and I will continue to stay in there as long as our numbers keep growing. Thank you very much.